so you're wearing a Christmas hat because it's Christmas. Yep. And as it's common in Christmas, we're going to talk about 12 things mm. that we're excited about for the web. And I thought I would talk about architecture on the web. OK, two minutes. What is that? Architecture, that's buildings. It's nothing to do with the web, mate. You got confused. Well, the thing is that lots of other fields, like enterprise engineering and gaming, have like these architectural patterns when they build like really complex things. No, nope, fields don't have architecture. You're thinking of cities. Software architecture, software engineering. You, you, you come up with patterns to use to compose and combine things and to you know like separation of concerns, all these things. Mm -hmm. And the web hasn't really done that. I mean, you could have done, but developers will say, like, here's a little app that I build. Or they just throw things together and do most of the complex stuff in the back end. And I think it's time for the front end developers to have proper architecture in their front end code as well. But isn't this what like all of the frameworks have been doing forever? Exactly. But I think these, these patterns should be exposed more to the developers themselves. So for example, what I think that the web has an actor pattern, where you have independent threads that are all running in a single threaded mode, but it communicates using post message. That's pretty much what we have on the web. And that is called an actor pattern, but these two things have barely been combined on the web. And I think there's more panels like this out there that haven't oh. been applied to the web to make your front end architecture more manageable and nicer to work with. So what do we need to make this work then? I think we already have everything that we need to make it work, but we haven't started using it. Like we just need to look for the patterns that game engineers use, that enterprise engineers use, and see if those are like useful for us on the web and try to build things using it and just experiment. So getting stuff like off the main thread except for the UI stuff is for is example, that's one thing I want to look into. And then but how do you separate the concerns? What goes onto the off thread was stays on the main thread. And then how do you structure your code off thread as well? Because that's just one big bolt of logic still. How do you like compose those little bits and bobs? So and in 10 seconds, what should be on the main thread? UI work. Right. In six seconds, what shouldn't be on the main thread? Not UI work. That is correct. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Nailed it. I want to talk about weightless CSS. Weightless? That is one of the words I said. The other one is CSS. CSS. So CSS without weight. Yes, that is a good reversal <laughs> of, what, of what I said. What is weight? 